An estimated 150,000 people are expected to attend the Pensacola Beach Air Show through Saturday. That show started as a much smaller event back in the 1980s with the Blue Angels flying a single show. But a group of people at the Santa Rosa Island Authority believe the show could be something much bigger. WEAR's Brent Carney spoke to a former Island Authority member who brought the air show to the next level. The Beach Air Show only used to be one day with much smaller crowd sizes, but that quickly changed. For nearly four decades, Shelly Berman has watched her dream for the Pensacola Beach Air Show become reality. When I came to the Island Authority, it had always been a one day show and it was on a Saturday. It was a four day air show. They were going to be flying the beach for four days consecutively and no one ever knew that. Shelly joined the Island Authority as a promotions manager in the late 1980s. She knew the air show had potential. She decided to work with her team to make it a week-long event and rebranded the show with its famous name, Red, White & Blues Week. I coined the phrase Red, White & Blues Week, and to me that means nothing but joy. Shelly and her team created events surrounding the air show that are still successful to this day, such as Breakfast with the Blues. Shelly also expanded the show lineup to include more military and civilian acts. She says within the first year of the change, crowd sizes doubled and revenue skyrocketed. To tell you the, the fulfillment that I've gotten over the years from uh, creating this massive event that no one ever dreamed could happen and bringing it to reality was phenomenal. From then on, the event grew bigger and bigger each year. A difference noticed not only from the ground, but also in the cockpit of the jets. Scott Cartvet was a solo pilot with the Blue Angels in 2001 and 2002. He's now the president of the Blue Angels Association. It's a nonprofit group that supports the Blue Angels and preserves the team's core values. He says watching the crowd sizes grow each year was exhilarating. I think that the legend and popularity of the Blue Angels has only grown. And the recent uh, Glenn Powell IMAX Amazon Prime video has only added to that legend. And so I think here at Pensacola Beach, people come out and they have seen the Blue Angels out in town and they've met Blue Angels and their neighbors are Blue Angels. So it just has that familial uh, local vibe. And, and now people are traveling from all over the country to come here. This year, the Island Authority is preparing for another massive crowd. Berman hopes the show will continue to grow. I have hundreds of letters that people have written me over the years that describe what they feel and how they have felt over the years watching the beach blossom into what it became. It makes me feel so fulfilled and it makes me so happy to see hundreds of thousands of people jump into the sky that they're so happy and having so much fun watching the blues. Now, if you do plan on going to the shows, make sure you do get there early. Parking, of course, does go very quickly. In the studio, Brent Carney, WEAR News.